Good morning, everybody. Let me talk about the little fluff. And Kira and Kappa. See, I know there's more puppies around here somewhere. So. Oh, there's my buddy and my moose. Anyway, I couldn't sleep. Well, I slept like three or four hours. But for some reason, I had on my mind that I wanted to attempt to try and make a little denim stuffed dog toy for the dogs. So for some reason, I like woke up and the very first thing I did was ran in and grab a pair of pants and cut the end of it off and started drawing out this pattern for a dog bone. It's uh, it's not perfectly accurate. I'm not too worried about it. Mainly because it's wider up here and thinner down here, but it don't matter. I just noticed that it's a lot bigger around on these ends and smaller, but whatever. I'm not too worried about it. First attempt, so we uh, make interesting choices. Anyway, I was getting ready to cut this out, and I remember I needed to switch out the the needle on the machine because the needle that I had in there was just for light fabrics, and this is a uh, this is a heavy duty one for denim. So I need to get that one on the machine real quick, and then I'm gonna start cutting this bone out. So if you want to give me a second here, I'll. Not too difficult. Just a quick simple. Yep, I've never taken up a. This is the first time in the history of anything time that I can remember taking up a a new hobby and actually really enjoying it. So this is kind of fun. So new needles in. Let's start cutting out this bone here. Not quite sure where to begin, other than like right here on the end. And... Get back with you as soon as I get further. All right, there we go. One dog bone pattern. <laughs> Not too shabby. For the first attempt, I'm sure there's other ways of doing this easier. But not too bad. The edges are pretty well lined up. So, anyway, let's get the machine set up. Uh, I'm just going to do this with the brown thread. It's a dog toy, I'm not too worried about it. It'll actually look fine with the brown thread. So, anyway, catch you back in just a second. This is one of the hardest parts for me because even with an auto threader, it's still a pain in the butt to get this lined up on there. Be right back when I get this. Weird. This uh, needle on this thing is really thick and the auto threader wasn't quite going around the bottom of it. I don't know if I can, if I can zoom in while it's recording. Anyway, this needle is like super thick, and this auto threader 
little piece that comes around wasn't going around the needle. I had to keep pushing it on, but it kept like popping off. So I had to end up just doing it by sight, which actually wasn't that hard. There's a pretty good size hole in this needle. So, <clears throat> all right, thread and bobbin out. We are threaded and we are good to get started. I think I'm just gonna start down this one edge here. out a little bit earlier. strength to these little corners here before I turn them. was going to get caught on that corner going around it. Alright. 
Okay, now, I've got this end still open right here, so I can stuff it. And, uh... Doesn't look too shabby. I'm still gonna go around the edges and put a, a thicker, like, uh, I have no idea what the name of the stitch is, but the one where the needle bounces back and forth a little bit and do an overlap on everything. So it gets a really nice strong edge. I don't know if that's going to help the, any more than any anything else because you know everybody knows dogs are destructive puppies and they can destroy stuff very very easily. So anyway, I'll be right back once I get that set up. Here it is, a little might be a little bit too wide but that's one way I wanted to really shore up this edge right back all right guys I've already gone around the entire bone the second time with with that uh, whatever I guess it's a cross stitch or whatever I'm trying to think of what I could fill the bone with and I don't have any stuffing but I figured just some the rest of this denim from the cutout and an old shirt here that's all torn up it's not worth trying to fix these cheapo shirts like this so i just figured i had to cut this into strips and stuff the bone with that we'll be back in just a moment all right got everything cut up and time to stuff our next little bone we made for the doggies with some old shirt, which I'm sure smells just like me. Give it more reason to want to rip it open. Thinking, I might not have enough stuffing. I might have to find another shirt, or just not fill this one really tight. And we're just not gonna fill this one very tight. Still not too bad. I'm gonna move it around and back into this corner once I get it sealed up. That's not too shabby. Yeah, right, be right back. around this corner again with the uh, cross stitch we're done in one second Alright guys, and there we go. 
a little rough around the edges because the you know the denim's you know fraying a little bit but the dogs are going to fray it up i'm sure but uh not too shabby let me see if i can't get in You can see the stitching in there. That's what I was looking for. I think that's cross stitches. That's what it's called. Because I put a... I know there's a setting on there to where... I think it'll do like a center stitch and then it'll cross over or something. But I just did a single stitch around the outside edge. And then I went back over it with this cross stitch to cover it. Just give it a nice tight edge. But I know that's not going to stop a dog. But at least I know how to sew now. And uh, can easily fix their toys when they do rip them open. But cool. Uh, fluffy doggy bone. <laughs> cool beans. Alright. In one second, we're going to test that out on the dog here in a moment. Oh, it's a doggy bone. Look at that doggy bone. Look at that doggy bone. <laughs> hey, hey. Come here, Copper. Copper. Copper got the doggy bone. Hey, stay in here with it. Golly. Copper, come here. Copper. Come here. You got your dog bone? Yeah. Kagali, stop. Let me see. Let go. Copper. <laughs> Copper, come here. Copper's hogging the bone. Copper, come here. You gotta play with it. You gotta share it. So I can make more. It was pretty cool, isn't it? Here. Don't growl. Alright, drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Let me see. Held it decently well from him. I mean, he wasn't really playing rough with it, but. There you go, Moose. Be nice, guys. Come here, Moose. There's a dog bone. Go get it, Kappa. <laughs> Copper. Be nice. Come here, Copper. You gotta share the bone. You know, I'm gonna make more. Probably gonna stuff them all with old t-shirts and stuff. That seems more cost effective. Copper's being really defensive of his new bone. <laughs> we'll make more. We'll definitely make more. This is cool. Kappa. Alright. Well, you guys have a good one. Sorry for the super long video. Since I didn't do a major edit on it. But, uh... Until next time, we will definitely make more. See you guys.